Well, I'm Laura Adamovich. I'm a wildlife veterinarian based at the University of Illinois, and I'm a member of the Wildlife Epidemiology Lab, along with my assistants here. You want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle Walagora, and I'm a fourth year veterinary student at the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine, and also a member of the Wildlife Epidemiology Lab. Uh, my name is Kenny McDurante. I'm a fourth year veterinary student at the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine as well, and a student researcher in the Wildlife Epidemiology Lab. Great. And uh, we are here working on health assessment of silvery salamanders as part of kind of the, the general purpose of our laboratory. We are wildlife veterinarians who are interested in wild animal health issues. We have projects kind of all over the state of Illinois, but what we tend to focus on is health in reptiles and amphibians. Um, so some of the major things we look at are ronaviruses in amphibians and turtles. Um, snake fungal disease in snakes, and a variety of other health issues that challenge our native wildlife here in Illinois. So today we are looking at the health of silvery salamanders. This is a project that's been ongoing since 2016. Uh, we collaborate with the Natural History Survey with their larger amphibian uh, demographic project, and we look at health specifically. Um, so today we're going to be examining some adult silvery salamanders that were captured as part of the Natural History Survey project. And we're also going to collect some swabs for disease testing later, um, looking for things like chytrid fungus, which is a global problem for amphibians, and ronavirus, which is also a global problem for amphibians. A ronavirus has been a problem for silvery salamanders, um, specifically at, at the sites that we're looking at. Um, it's more so a problem when they're young, when they're larvae. Um, but it can cause very, very high mortality, um, and typically we see over 90% mortality of silvery salamander larvae when they're infected with ronavirus. Um, and we've seen it recur at the same place year after year. So if that is a, a trend that continues, that could potentially become a problem for conservation of the species. So part of our job is to surveil for that pathogen and try to find strategies to help control it or mitigate it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about your project or what you're seeing today? Um, that's a great question. Um, I think it's just really good for people to be aware that wildlife health is critically important. It's not something that we really think about, or at least it's not something that most people thought about pre-COVID, um, but it is a significant consideration for the health of the animals that we rely on for food, and it's a consideration for our health as well. Um, so it's really important to promote the health of wild animals, domestic animals, and humans. It's all the same thing. We have to think about it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Absolutely.